Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Allah Shafi. I want to talk about the management of respiratory symptoms of COVID-19 patients early on to reduce their deterioration. Indeed, we need to reduce the further spread by isolating, social distancing, hand hygiene, and use of personal protective equipment. There aren't many other treatments in the primary care other than paracetamol, so let's talk about some respiratory symptom management early on in these patients. I'm now going to share some personal thoughts. Please don't consider them as formal prescription or treatment advice. This is just a hypothesis and it might make sense. Antihistamines would help. Vitamin D will downregulate renin angiotensin system to some degree and stabilize mast cells as well. Inhalers such as salbutamol and ipratropium or any inhalers from the group of beta-2 agonists or antimuscarinics can be helpful in uh, cases of bronchoconstriction or may help the patients breathe better. Leukotriene receptor antagonists such as Montelukast would also help. If there is known exposure to uh, COVID-19, then people should self-care, isolate, use vitamin D. If there is fever, I would suggest start antihistamines and start vitamin D. If there is dry cough, then add in leukotriene inhibitors such as Montelukast and also add in the inhalers, both salbutamol as well as ipratropium. If there is cough and exertional breathlessness, then use the above, but increase the dose or frequency of inhalers. If there is breathlessness at rest, you now need to see the doctor. And uh, if you're looking visibly breathless or have abnormal observations, you need to be admitted in hospital. By the time somebody is breathless at rest, that's level four above. I think the inflammatory process has set in place and I'm trying to suggest a way which might delay or avoid the progression of deterioration to this level. There is evidence to suggest antihistamines, leukotriene receptor antagonists, and vitamin D individually play a role at cellular level to control body's inflammatory response and manage it better. But there is no evidence that put together, they will reduce the respiratory complications. The, this is a relatively new infection, which is not understood as well. There is not enough evidence could we do something to reduce the respiratory complications? Would this treatment benefit? The answer is possibly yes. Will there be any harm? Well, unless there is contraindication or allergy or risk of harm, it should not be taken. Um, within the next three to four weeks, we will know whether the respiratory complications have reduced as a result of this regime if started early on. La ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntu I pray that Allah saves us in these turbulent times and make this pandemic go away.